This is a breakdown of my 10 days itinerary to the three provinces of South Africa. And if you're planning to go to this beautiful country, download the video as a reference or follow along to have the most exciting trip of your life. The trip will start from Durban, from where you can withdraw cash, buy a SIM card and then move to Blue Marlin, which is the closest hotel to your first two activities. Welcome to South Africa, people. The first activity for us today is shark cage diving, which was my dream for a very, very long time. And now there is a lot of time difference here. We are leaving super early after breakfast. India is about 3.5 hours from India. And... Uh, are you excited? Very. Where are we going? Tell my We are going shark cage diving. We are basically, we are going to be in cages and the sharks, uh, sharks are going to be all around us. So let's see, this is like our first entry into the South African seas. I think it's finally going to sink in that we are in Africa. Mein hai. Oh! <laughs> Someone is filming me, yes. so, so I'm going to be a celebrity. <laughs> Welcome to SBRM Toza Ken. So from our hotel Blue Marlin, we drove about 10 minutes for this exciting adventure. Great. <laughs> John, okay, thank you. So once we get there, the four minute things like it's going to be quick. We also saw a lot of whales on the way home now. We must have seen about 30 oh, humpback whales. That was crazy. So when the sharks are here, we're going to drop the cage into the water. The cage is going to open up. Once you're inside the cage, Brian's going to meet you inside the cage. He's going to show you exactly where to hold and where to put your feet. See where to put your feet. You're just going to hold your breath above the water and just have a look down, so you're going to keep your feet on the bar, hands up in front of you. The experience inside the cage was so magical that Anki and I wanted to kick it up a notch and swim with them outside the cage. We've got lots and lots of Indians here. Don't expect them to speak Tamir and other Indian language because these guys, they lost, they lost their language. In the 1880s, there were Indian guys who committed suicide. The reason being, 1860, when they were brought in here, they were promised so many things. And British people here, they treated them like as indigent laborers meaning they would be paid next to nothing or be treated like slaves. As a certified paraglider and a person who has already done two times skydiving, this is so scary for me, I can't even explain. Your body is just like, what are you doing? You're trying to kill yourself. <laughs> This is my first time actually. Very scared. I like my mouth is dry. <laughs> I'm that scared. In skydiving, at least there is a person and um, you can trust him because he's doing everything. Over here, you are just all alone. <laughs> all the oh best. Too much oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Oh my god. Ah, it's too much. That's it. Ow. What to do? You stand on the right now. No, I can't do this. I can't do this. No, no, I can't do this. I can't do this. You can. No, 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 please. You can. Hey, you can, you can. Otherwise, Lily, Lily, let's wait for me. Jai Mataji. Jai Mataji. Jai Mataji, go. Jai Mataji, you gotta do this, baby girl. Jai Mataji, you gotta do this, baby girl. Will you push me? I will make you excited. Yes, you can. Yes, you My can. son is can counting. Give me a count. Yes, no, no, I can't do it. Yes, you can. You can. You can. Yes, 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 you can. Yes,
You're doing very perfect. Yes, you can. Come on, come on, come on, Radhika. Go, 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 go. I was so scared that I couldn't jump, but Anki took over, and she is one fearless woman. A little bit nervous. I think that first little step is the scariest. After that, it's fine. Quite a deep gorge. you can go to florida road to end your day one with some surfing lessons and also to see some amazing nightlife quality of instructions were amazing i wish i had more time to really learn it properly but i would really like to pick up the sport and do it properly but if you are coming here in south africa you have to give it a shot because the waves and the instructions and the training and the fun you will have is unbeatable or on day 2 leave for drakensberg which is famous for its hiking routes and spectacular ancient rock art sites reflecting the beliefs of the indigenous sand people First thing to do after reaching Drakensberg is go on a heli flip where you can sip a glass of champagne on top of a mountain. You can either book a 15 minutes flight or one hour long flight on this website. So this was by far my favorite activity and we saw so much it was like It we were we so were cool. like we were like drone <laughs> yeah, yeah we were like, like drone <laughs> up in the end this was my first chopper experience i think you've done it before once yeah 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 but they like made us land on this little hill with these yellow flowers and we had some champagne over there it was really cool and few things that i want to highlight you can see so much you can know about all the volcanic activities that happened yeah. over here you can see so many waterfalls you can see bird eye views of so many vineyards so much greenery around you and it is amazing yeah. well we all know hot air balloon is fun but what if i tell you landing is even more exciting whoa <laughs> 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 so we've just come back from this epic hot air balloon experience and the view is really nice you yeah. have to come early in the morning today is cloudy but if it is not cloudy you can see the distant peaks as well as a very beautiful sunrise but this is one of the experiences that and we should and we ended with mimosa yes <laughs> Today again go back to where you started to catch a flight to Pumalanga from King Shaka Airport. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Shabalala Interpretation of Kai. This is Swati tribe. The special thing of this tribe is that they perform a reed dance where unmarried girls dance bare-breasted in front of the king to celebrate their virginity. Earlier, the king used to choose wives out of these pure women in return of cows. <laughs> Namaste India welcome to South Africa 
The entire evening was musical. All we did was dance, shopped a few local things from the tribe, and had bush braai, which is the local dinner outside in the national park. And this was the most magical day for me. Next day explore the most iconic and beautiful route of South Africa known as Panorama Route Tour where you will see God's Window, Lisbon Falls, Bork Luck potholes and three rounder wells. Both Swati culture and panoramic route is a part of Kruger National Park which is one of the Africa's largest game reserves to spot the big 5. We were staying in a safari lodge from where it was easier to go on a game drive. You can also treat yourself to a spa between your game drives or just simply spend your entire day shooting the wildlife. here to take you for a morning walk which i heard that it will not be a long one. apart from all of this you can also go for a tubing experience down the sapi river Hello from Johannesburg. Apart from skydiving, we were here to see Cradle of Humanity, where we will be understanding how life first emerged and seeing one of the oldest human fossils. So this was our 10-day South Africa itinerary, and all the days were so adrenaline-packed. If you are planning to go to South Africa, download this video as a reference, or otherwise share it with your friends who are planning to go. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, bye bye. Take care.